My next guest, you may remember, uh, he killed himself in Dead Poets Society. <laughs> but he got better. Lots. Anyway, he was also in Swing Kids and lots of other cool movies. Now he's starring on Broadway. Please welcome Robert Sean Leonard. He's here. He's with us. Why? Why well, dare I say it? You look lovely. I look like a moron. And I, <laughs> I didn't know. I thought I was supposed to be here at six. So at about, and I was told. Then I was told I had to be here at five. So at twenty to five, I started raiding my closet, and I came up with. I looked like a reject from The Great Gatsby. I looked like a. No. I, it's also past Memorial Day, which I've been told, and now I'm wearing, you know, linen, which. I don't know. I've screwed up in major Don't worry ways. about it. I look like a gas station attendant. You've got nothing to worry about. I you should do. be pumping gas for a man such as you. <laughs> right. Not to right. worry. Right. Uh, you, live, you actually live right around the corner, though, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, you know, hoofed over. You hoofed over? Yeah. Do you like living in New York City? How long have you been here? Uh, I've lived here for seven years. Long time. Well, how old are you? Uh, 25. So you moved here early. Yeah, I moved here. Uh, I was 17, sort of turning 18 when I moved to, to New York. Was the, was the city mean to you at first, or did it? No, the city's always been great to me. I dropped out of high school. Uh, I'd been working in New York for a couple of years as an actor anyway, so uh, uh, I did, sort of knew the city. And, right. Yeah. You dropped out of high school? I dropped out of high school. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really come to plug that idea, you know. You know, I, I, no, really I understand. Listen, you, you shot yourself in the one high school movie, and you dropped yeah. out in life. I see where it's going here. <laughs> Yeah. You and Bobcat lighting fires all over the city, my friend. I, you know, the, him and the puppet, I, you know, I really don't know what to do. I don't know how to follow that up. <laughs> you know what? I we do, we don't know boring. either. That's, that's the sad part. Yeah. You are our first guest with three names, by the way. I'm thrilled, and I'm thrilled to be, you know, the, it's like a beginning show. It's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're new, yeah, which is I'm... why we have all the problems that we have <laughs> yeah. with the puppets and stuff. Right. <laughs> Things like that happen, but not for you. Big things are going on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing this great play on on Broadway at the, at the Roundabout Theater called Philadelphia. Here I come. Certainly, where you're getting very strong reviews as well. Uh, Have you yeah. the Philadelphia? <laughs> very strong reviews. A lot of Brian Friel fans here this evening. Absolutely. How do you handle a bad review if somebody comes out and slant? Has that happened? Oh, gee, what? It's funny you mention it. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me you, just cross uh, it right <laughs> off right there. Bad that. reviews. We don't yeah. want to talk about bad reviews. You, you read it and you, you, you know, weep and you consider career alternatives and you, and then you wake up and meet a friend for dinner and uh, for breakfast and, and then you, you get over it. Oh. I know, isn't that exciting? It is pretty exciting. Well, in particular, what I was waiting for is uh, what they had told me was you'd gotten a couple of bad reviews in Philadelphia, but you felt better after Roy Scheider left a message <laughs> on your machine that yeah. it was okay. Yeah, Roy, Roy Scheider, who I've known for a while, called me and uh, just ima and amazing to be the guy from Jaws. With yeah, I know, and all, all that jazz. It's, it's just too, too, too cool. Is so, he in the play with you or no? No, no, he's down in Florida uh, shooting Sequest. Jaws and, Four. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He's, <laughs> so uh, yeah, he was great. He, you know, he's, it's great. And my friend Len Carew called me and said, "Remember that 500 million Chinese couldn't care less," which is sort of a good way to look at it. I <laughs> that think. is a I nice know. way to look at it. Uh, <laughs> It's, no, it's getting late, I guess. I is it really? Do you need to go and change? Because no, I understand. I, uh, no, I'm okay. I really have to get out of this soon, though. All right, now, before you, you're, you're doing a lot of other theater things as well. And yeah. I know you have this, uh, this theater group that you're... Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I'm involved in a theater group with Ethan Hawke, who was on the show earlier. Yes, he was. Um, we're involved in a theater company called Malapart, and we're doing three plays in October and November. We're producing ourselves and right. in three great and new And we've plays. been plugging that almost every week. I'm so glad. We've only been on a week. You know, we're young, you know, we're trying to get this going. <laughs> All right. And we're having a huge benefit next Monday night at Irving Plaza. All right. At 8 o'clock. Um, so those of you watching in Austin, Texas. This is the number to hey! call for tickets. That's illegal, for God's no, sakes. No. I'll just set that you can tell here. they've got a tremendous advertising budget. Um, That's yeah, quite a sign, Robert. <laughs> it's, uh, it's shameless, but we it's need to you know, we got We've got cardboard and markers. Come see us. Uh, I know. Well, look, it sounds so great. Sad. So it's a great company, and we're, we're really excited about it, and the plays are going to be really exciting. And Good. Fun. I wish you all luck, and I hope you raise a lot of money and you can afford jeans. Yes, I'll try to get all right. working. Thanks, Thanks very much for coming by. Robert Sean Leonard is going to be in Philadelphia. Around about theater. We'll be right back with Sunny Day Real Estate. Stick around.